Respected international sports lawyer Paul Green believes that Jamaica and West Indies batsman John Campbell has a good chance of earning a reduction to his four-year ban at sports' highest appeal court, the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS. Kian Rayner reports. With 15 days remaining out of a possible 21 days to launch an appeal against his four-year ban for evading, refusing or failing to submit to a blood sample collection by JADCO in April of this year, experienced international sports lawyer Paul Green thinks John Campbell has grounds to earn a reduction. Speaking exclusively with the TVJ Sports from New York on Wednesday, Green, the founder of Global Sports Advocates, outlined Campbell's best option. Campbell argued that he wasn't properly noticed and that even if he was, there was compelling justification for him not having to submit to sample collection. In my opinion, he was properly noticed. Compelling justification is a very narrow window, but he certainly has some arguments related to his mental state that I think could be made at CAS. Um, and certainly his four-year sanction is exceedingly harsh. And I think there are definitely grounds to reduce it at CAS, particularly when you consider the Troiki decision where he got 12 months on the basis of no significant fault. And I certainly think four years was a very, very heavy decision, um, a very, very heavy sanction handed down. Another international sports lawyer who spoke on condition of not being named noted that if it was truly a refusal or evasion case, then four years is indeed the correct sanction, since the presumption is the athlete was hiding the worst kind of doping. The World Anti-Doping Agency's sanctioning guideline 10.3 prescribes a four-year ban for this particular violation unless the athlete can prove it was not intentional or the athlete can establish exceptional circumstances to get a reduction from four to two years depending on degree of fault. Up to Wednesday, Campbell and his legal team were still considering their options for an appeal, close to a week after the Independent Anti-Doping Disciplinary Panel handed down their ruling on Friday. The cost of appeal to CAS is usually prohibitive, but Green says there are a couple of workarounds. If he does appeal to CAS in terms of the costs, a single arbitrator would be uh, about twelve to 15,000 Swiss francs based on past cases. A three-member panel could be a, an advance of forty to 50,000 Swiss francs. Anyone can apply for legal aid, and if granted, it's possible that uh, the athlete, Mr. Campbell, would not have to advance costs, but just simply pay the 1,000 Swiss franc filing fee. In any event, he would have to file the CAS appeal within the 21-day deadline, and that starts to tick from the date he's notified of the decision. According to the water rules, Campbell has until Friday, October 28, when the 21-day period ends, to file his appeal. Keon Reina reporting for TVJ Sports.